buddies, it's your girl at Christine, and today I have had an overwhelming request to check out this video. This is Help Oh Well, take two, take this. Official music video by Something Else by T. I loved the last song, you know, Help Oh like I don't know all the words and that's not anything to him I'm not good at lyrics period with any song and that I should make a video about that nonetheless um, I'm excited to see what new song he's come up with I've been having fun with his videos court I mean I've been having fun with all his videos but I've especially been loving his while quarantine's been happening videos like I loved the whole seeing him like that my favorite video is the when he, the last one that I reacted to where it was like him about that Elvis <laughs> comic that he made and seeing him read it and then make the sounds and then it transferred into the animation I was really in loving I was loving and in love with that link for this video is in the description box below for you to check out now let's get started okay on October 12th, 2019, I released my song, Help Oh Well. It was extremely rushed, only giving myself a day to film the music video and record the entire song. Wow, all that in one day? In the end, I was not proud of it because I knew I could do better. So I did. I thought it was great, so let's see how much better it gets. Okay. Okay. Beats already. Already better. And there's the animation at the end. Okay. This is his. Okay. I, I I can tell what he means. Like the production. Like the song. The first song was really good, but you can tell the production value is definitely higher in this video um, already, as far as the audio. In his his uh, jacket. It started on a Sunday and I was just doing nothing but partying up with some people oh. I knew and up I'm, I'm just looking at things a sweaty I love the animation style they be praising me I'm dreaming cuz I made it now something at least I think I am that's what they say I am not playing and I'm just doing everything that I fucking can I don't even know what's just going on but they thinking looking at me like I am money shut up and now they speaking think so I'll be drinking oh. it up and then some hinting I'm done they need come books to keep talking I'm hostage but sponsors pay my ransom I'm just oh, a lot of by all the offers are coming but if I'm honest now how did it start a fucking combo am mm. I having fun just pretend I'm also not just people going on and thinking nothing nothing but mm. taking problems assuming some wealth but they summon dozens of crummy demons they done it come them suffers to come and scream it oh goodness oh, well, everybody going up but I'm going to well I don't even mm. give up but I'm going to care so I've thinking that I'm not but who is it I stand showtime's I stand. here this, I would say, because um, I did feel the emotion in the first one. This one, it, I would say, is a little bit more, especially with the imagery, the aspect of um, he's at this point that's like a pinnacle in his life, but at the same time, there's like, so much pressure in it, and it's hard for him to see, like, when he's like, it's hard to have a conversation. It's hard for him to feel regular in this situation, and especially with this puppeteer, like, pulling up saying, Showtime, it, 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 it makes my heart a little sad. A little sad. But I'm going to well, I don't even give up. But I'm going to care. I've been thinking that I'm not. Oh, dear. But I'm losing. I stay. I stay screaming. Been to come and someday I said, baby, hits. Gain some dummy. I am lost. Them. Oh, shit. All alone I ponder wonder if I'm ever gonna find some Never thought it could get harder Happens when you're evil Head low And then you're up and dough Adam, you're great You can make me wanna explode It's since I got you Shout me out And then help me grow Wait, what the fuck did you just tell Yeah, me? okay, so that And this is something that um, I've had conversations with people about Where when someone approaches you And I get for him especially Because he's so big that you're not sure if this person's just genuine they want to just genuinely be your friend or if they're like okay i think you're really cool and then he's like oh but let's just take a picture really quick and shout you out shout me out so then i can grow you know um i feel like there is a line between um like business and friendship and they can blend they can merge but it's it's all in the presentation i understand if someone's like hey if that's how they come to this situation, if you come to the table like, hey, I think you're really cool. I would love to work with you. I think we can help each other grow type of thing. Or, hey, I, th I would love to work with you. I think that um, working with you could do really great things for my channel. I, it, it's all on how you present it. If you're just like, shout me out so I can grow. Like I get that's very off putting. 
But what sucks is when someone's like, hey, I think you're really great. And then you think that friendship is what they want. And this is this has already happened. I'm, that's all I'm going to say. It's already happened where you think friendship is what this person wants and you become friends with this person. And then you find out that it was not about friendship. It was about your channel. And that's what they came to the table to learn. So I would rather prefer somebody be honest at the forefront and say, hey, I would like a business relationship with you versus, hey, I, I want to be friends. And then it turns out that, nope, I wanted something else, you know? So, yeah. But like I said, you can't have both because Charlie's my friend and we work together. So, and my husband i love him and we work together so you can have both but it's all on how it starts and what the presentation is at the beginning looking things are super creepy with their eyes. I do think that the quality of this is better than the first one. Even though the first one is good. I'm not saying the first one's bad, but this one's definitely better. Okay, 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 mister. I hear the vocals. I hear the vocals. Oh, this is him inside his house. Oh, it's a little tattered. Oh, boop boops. Oh, what's it? Oh, I thought I heard something. Um, I I think that this is oh, there's a karaoke version, so people can like make videos of them singing the song. That is truly awesome. Um, I think that this is. I mean, we've went through the song already because we've we've heard the original. I mean, the original recording that he made. Um, and you know what the song is about, especially if you're somebody who requested for me to react to this. You know what the song is about, and you've already seen it. But um, it, it, it does just take me back to the, like, this is like a BTS to being a creator, you know? And kind of going through the behind the scenes feelings that a lot of creators have. A lot of creators have this, this feeling. When you get to a certain point, like when you start off, I think, that, and that's actually a great idea for a video, like the sentiments of a creator when you start off and the world's your oyster and you're like, oh my goodness. And then you get to a certain amount of either views or subscribers and then the questions kind of come in you know is this uh, what what the, when people approach you what is your reason and what is your outcome what are you hoping to get out of this you know and I, I say pretty open-minded and like I said I prefer somebody be honest on the forefront but it does it, I, I it does suck when you think someone is um, just your friend and you realize that friendship's not what they wanted uh, on any level i think it's fine to want friendship and business but this person it turns out did not want friendship anymore. <laughs> it was just business so um and mind you there's nothing against i, I feel like i have to say this because i see this on youtube and it, it annoys me there's nothing against wanting to just work with somebody like if you had a regular job and you were singing with somebody if you were a singer and you just want to sing with somebody you're like oh my goodness i would love to sing with you you don't have to have a friendship or relationship past that collaboration that you had um but when you think someone's like your friend and then when things don't go the way they wanted and then it's like peace deuces because what i want the stature 
all that stuff, then that's when it's like, well, that sucks. But this, uh, I love the song. I love the song. It makes my heart a little sad. I do want him to know that, hey, I'll still help grocery shop for you. Like, uh, uh, not still help, like as if he, he never hired me. He never hired me for that. And I would do it for free. It has nothing to do with like business. You ain't got to even tell nobody, but I want him to know. I will still help. I know you have your grocery f- store thing issue. I can figure out who's delivering near you. Get the, or do what to organize that list for you, boop, boop, so you can get your groceries. But you ain't got to tell nobody. It, no, nothing needs to be publicized. I just want you to have a full fridge. That's honestly all. But let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. How does this song make you feel? Do you like this one versus the last one? Which one do you prefer? Let me know down below. If you like that video, check out the link in the description box below to support everyone involved in making it. I think it was such a great collaboration of all these people together. If you like this video, hug the like on that like button. I love you guys as always. And until next time, buddies.